everyone, my name is Pelescent Moon and welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 9, Episode 15. Over the last couple of days or so, it appears I've been kindly informed that we have a shiny new customer for our cleaning services shop. I think we need to go check that out and see who exactly is asking for our service today. Hello, lovely shop. We are back once again. Let's just hop in through my little landing port here that I am absolutely terrible at landing on right now and check out the book. Let's see what we got. Okay. So apparently we have a customer, but there's no no uh, payment in the chest. All right, let's take a little bit of a read. Uh, okay, my page is here. Let's see. Okay, okay. Requests. Ah, oh, there we go. Hi, Pearl. You're my only hope. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. It sounds like a Star Wars thing. Pearl, you're my only hope. The chest monsters are taking over and need to be stopped. Uh, Scar. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, Scar! Locations! Hold on a minute. Chess Monster 1, 2, 3, and 4. And there's no more pages. Okay, so there's four different Chess Monster locations. And knowing Scar, all of these are probably big. Uh, I need to check this out. Let's have a look at all these locations and see what's up. Of course, Scar, the most notorious for the Chess Monsters, is going to be the first to sign up to our shop. Hmm, I think we're in for a wild ride today. Chess Monster location 1 appears to be inside Scar's tree. Oh boy. Comparing my coordinates and the book coordinates it looks like this is our first location and honestly this doesn't look that bad my only concern is if these barrels are also oh gosh oh no oh no oh no <laughs> the barrels are also filled there is barrels coating all of the walls shulk is on the floor scar it's very blatantly obvious that you are in dire need of my services today given this is one of four. I think I'm seeing location number two right now. Yep, this is gonna be number two. Honestly, yeah, not too bad. Okay, the double chests are super messy, but there's not a lot here. So this is kind of okay. I would classify this one as a small chest monster. So that's fine. This looks like we have location number three, the one that he made while he was creating his shop. Also, not absolutely terrible. A lot of these look to be moderately empty except for the chests, but this is kind of okay. I think I would classify this one as a medium uh, shulker monster right here. Not too bad. Not as uh, scar sized as I expected. As I'm going through them all, I decided it would be a good idea to mark down in this book the sizes that I believe the chest monsters are specified as. And we have one more left. I'm pretty sure I know what this one is, considering we were most likely at this one last episode. Let's go take a look anyway. As thought the last set of coordinates has taken us over to Scar's mega base area and it has once again changed since I was last here. Would you just look at look at this? Scar, you're absolutely wonderful at building my friend. This is beautiful. Golly goo, as I believe Scar is actually making a theme park base uh, for his area this season. And this is going to be the main street. I'm so excited to see how this progresses. But my gosh, this is looking absolutely beautiful. I can see the colors. Always use the lanterns there as well. For a bit of extra spice into the building. And this particular one on the corner uses quite a few of the new 1.19 blocks. And it's absolutely fabulous. I love this. You can absolutely get enveloped in the scenery and in, in, in looking at all the different types of details in all the various buildings that he has. Each one has their own character and own palette. And I, I love it. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to see where Scar takes his base for this season. Regardless, we need to uh, get on with the task at hand. And that is to check out the massive shulker monster he has hidden underneath my... Golly goo. Well, this one is definitely an uncontended scar-sized shulker monster right here. I mean, truth be told though, remember in the last episode, I did give him credit with the fact that quite a lot of this was organized. So that stuff definitely makes my job a lot easier. However, he also has these boxes off to the side, which are very obviously not organized uh, pretty much at all. Oh, there's a few. There's a few that are organized, but yeah, much of it isn't organized whatsoever so uh that is going to add a little bit to the price for sure but yes uncontended scar sized monster which means i think we actually need to have a chat to scar himself and see what kind of prices we might be looking for for uh, this particular service today there he is i see him the guy man we, we, need, we need to talk to you right now scar oh surprise oh waiting lady knock knock Cleaning lady. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, gotta get full the full full uh, attire view there. There we go. Fully business. 
Fully in business. <laughs> Are you here for my purchase order of a cleaning service? Mm-hmm. Cause I'm... Oh, you've accepted. Uh, no, no, oh. You're a little bit too early on that one. We need to talk oh, about oh, this. Oh, a little too early. Mm -hmm. So you haven't seen... Have you seen the purchase order? Yes, I have. I have surveyed every single location and have marked out the adequate sizes. Feel free to uh, take a look if you like, because we got some things oh, to talk about. Oh, I didn't know you did some inspections. Let's see. Uh -huh. Oh, there's a new a page. All right. What's SZM mean? So... The, oh, well, Scar Size Monster. Yes, SCM, Scar Size Monster, the last one. Oh, that's SCM. That's very clever. Okay, do we have to inspect the sites? Um, are you just going to go with it and it's going to be like a free, fun, like one time free, free charge? Did, did oh, you just say free? Who said free? free? No, I would never. You wouldn't would swindle never. a poor cleaning trash lady out of some service, would you? You no, that? definitely no. not. No, oh, okay. Careful, there, there's there's a lot of. I don't want to do. He's I don't want to. Look, here we go. I'm already. You. Oh, there we go. I was already. Gonna, I was gonna clean. Do a free clean service for you that one time. Right. Yes. Okay. So the first three chest monsters you have, they're pretty obvious. The last one down here, not so much. You need to tell me, right? You're missing a pretty big detail uh, in this whole thing here. Where do you want all of this to go? I can clean it up. Well, I uh, was um. Hoping you'd figure that out. I'll You're the cleaning lady after all. Wise and powerful and all knowing of how to organize. I just need a location to go to so I can put these things somewhere in some chest. So I can, you have a lot of horns. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, I got a little horn crazy. Oh I really wanted gosh. the THX horn. Oh, oh my gosh. There's so many. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What's this one? I don't know what this one is. I need, I need to do it. It's a good one. Uh, it's a great uh, one. It's like one big long fart. Good to know. You'll speak when spoken to. Huh? Wait, what? Oh. B-dubs? <laughs> oh, B-dubs, you silly goose. That's not B-dubs. Where are you, B-dubs? <laughs> That's the horn. <laughs> <laughs> you can't try me like that. Huh? I heard about those shenanigans. Oh, that got me for a moment there. You, you, you got me a cheeky little nugget. All right. Just for a second. Just for a Just second. For a second. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you got a okay, dedicated space or something? where do we put something? all this nonsense? Yeah. Yeah, tell me. You got a spot? <laughs> you have right all that there. space up doors. Okay. All right. I'll be down here. Right there. Right, right. there would be perfect. And then I can just transport it into the storage system when it's ever built. Someday. Someday. Here. Years from now. You, Years from now. We're on season 11. I come back and I finish it. You yes. Think this this is gonna, wall. This wall. Oh. Just, just this wall? Like nothing? Not, not not outside this wall? Like not on top of the wall? Just on, on the wall? I will. What if I, what if I arrange chests? Or I'll, I'll make a markers right here. And then mm. anything inside the marker is where all the organization goes. You're not going to fit all of this in, in this. That's not going to work. Surely I could. No. <laughs> Have you seen the size of mine, Scar? I had way less stuff than you. This is, <laughs> that's not going to fit. Okay. Uh, let me, uh, I, I will have to, I will have to rethink this, but mm -hmm. is, is it possible that this can be organized? Yes. hundred percent. It'll take some hours, some, some lovely cleaning lady hours, <laughs> but I'll do it. It comes at a price though. You know, okay. At, let's talk. Price. Let's talk cash dollars, diamonds. Mm -hmm. How many diamonds? Yeah. Because it's going to cost all of them. I got 30 diamonds. Maybe some more diamonds than that, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how about this? How about this? <laughs> mm -hmm. All of my diamonds that I have at the moment of purchase in a surprise treasure box. Okay. And I can't know what's in this surprise treasure box, can I? No, no, it's a surprise. It's obviously in its name. It's a surprise uh, treasure box. Tr true. Yeah, you know. Yeah, maybe, maybe I could have seen it like I'll a little give you a kid hint. before Christmas. Okay. I'll give you a hint. Oh, yep. I have a lot of treasures that you can sell at your store. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, a lot of trash. Okay, so you're going to give me a box of trash, Excuse basically. Excuse me, that's a, that's a rare block. <laughs> I mean... It's a rare treasure in your hand. That's a that's a maybe? miniaturized micro computer component. Uh-huh, does it work? Can it, like... No, it's, get some it's for decoration. Something? Oh, oh okay. So it's trash. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you know what? Okay. Fine, I'm, I, I, can, I can do it. Oh my gosh, it. she's a piston head now. Oh, am I? Oh. <laughs> That's extraordinary. <laughs> How did that get on my head? <laughs> That's what? extraordinary. How did that happen? I, okay. I can do so, this for storage you. Storage goes here. Mm -hmm. Storage goes here. Mm -hmm. And I will... You, you, you tell me the diamond amount that you want. I don't want to rip mm -hmm. you off considering the sheer size of this chest monster. And I will throw in the treasure box. 
Okay. It's a surprise. I'll trust on time. you on the treasure box. The diamonds it doesn't get you very far in my services, but the treasure box, I will trust you. you. No, no, no. I will go into debt. You just give me a number and I will work to pay off that. Oh, a number. Okay, hold on. Let me just let me look through my Yeah, book just right give here. me a number. Yeah. Give me a number and I I, I I can't even negotiate at this point because I know the sheer job that this is. Uh-huh. Okay, let me just get my calculator out. We got uh, 15 plus uh, 25 plus uh, 40 plus... Um, well, you don't have to add all the numbers. Scarf, it's not like you need all of the numbers. Oh, really? Are you sure about that? And the oh, carrying and the really, division. We really, really do, you know. We really got to... Well, so Spatial far we awareness. have 80 diamonds and that doesn't include the scar-sized monster. So... Uh, you're in a little bit of debt, my friend. <laughs> okay, how, how, okay, just, just, just hit me with it. Just hit me with it. Uh, the problem is I don't know what the scar size monster is priced at. You know what? I think that one's open to how many cleaning lady hours it takes, and then after okay, that I'll work okay. it out. It's about right, ten you, diamonds okay. per thirty minutes. Okay, that seems fair. And the treasure box. Yeah, and the treasure box. Yep, that's what that's the, the price. treasure box. Okay, mm -hmm. chess monster, you shall be defeated by the it cleaning shall be. lady. I shall do. It might take me a day or so, but it'll be done. It'll be oh, great. I'm Thank gonna, you, Pearl. I'm going to be buried in here for a while. Let me just uh, do that ahead of time. All right. Uh, I'll see I'll see you afterwards. Uh, no, 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 no. Haka! Oh, you said. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, oh, oh. Killing me already. Jeez, Scar. What am I going to do with you? Oh, it's funny. It's oh. funny. I didn't even get the little, like, bell ring. Which is kind of bummer. I, I just live for that ring of a bell, you know? Like that. What's <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, look, it's right in my face. In my eyeball. Thanks, Scar. Cleaning up your mess and then you get me killed. All right, I think he's uh, earned himself another 80 diamonds in debt. All right, well, I guess I gotta do some cleaning. Well. Uh, you you want to come out from behind there with your Mike Wazowski eyeballs peeking through? Pearl, I'm um, terrified to come out. I, I don't trust that the chess monster has been defeated. I feel like it's a disguise. It's a trick. No, it's a ruse. It is, it is no <laughs> trick. It is no ruse. Everything has been sorted. Look how beautiful it is. Look how clean this place is, Scar. Are you relishing in it? Uh, as I said, I'm a little I'm a little apprehensive. I feel like it's just going to explode on me into a, an enormous chess monster, but I'm taking your word for it. And this is the most organized thing that I've ever seen anywhere near my builds. Like this is just even just too much. Mm -hmm. There's an amethyst chest and an amethyst block chest. I have never seen such organization in my life. Yes, look, you need the amethyst block chest. There's like, there's already things in it, you know? <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, it's great. <laughs> you got chests it's, for everything now. It's it's wild, when I was streaming, I tried so hard to maintain the, the organization mm -hmm. and my stream will be a testament to how hard I worked. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Scott. I mean, sort of, there seems to be, um, some, no, some that's boring. empty. And uh, yeah, that that's up. It is. Look, Scar, that is how you start a chess monster. You've got to clean this stuff up. All right? Don't want to see it. Always, it. it always starts with one step. It always does. <laughs> you got to clean it. But oh, yes. this is this is unbelievable. Also, all the chess monsters have been defeated throughout the entire world. Well, yours, yes. From the ones you've listed, right? Yes. And they're all defeated. Okay. All, Except that all. one. Anyway. Except one, um, Scar? You want to repeat yeah, that? Yeah, we don't talk about that one. No. Ah, uh, you know the things Scar and stuff. Scar um, ooh, Scar diamond chest. All right, well, I'm just gonna ignore okay, that. Okay, there's last one, one more. It. There's one single chest monster remains that I forgot to tell you about. Look, all right, you know, you know <laughs> what? That, as far as I'm concerned, that's your own, that's your own task. Okay, you clean that up. Make that your first task to stay on top of your chest monsters by cleaning that yourself. Okay. Okay, nice. I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. I didn't put it in the book, so it doesn't count. But there is one, and it's a bad one. Oh, it's so bad. It's deep Sorry. underground. Don't tell me, Scott. I'm just, just, I don't. 
Look, I'm, if I if I dig well, I mean, myself it's, it's down, in I'll never area see it. underground. It's in another area. Well, good. That means I'll be perfectly safe in here, and I'm not going to see any more chest monsters from you. Okay. That's it. Well, there we go, viewers. I got a free storage hey, organization. No. Ah, oh my gosh! What the world? Oh. Well, now we're in a spot. <laughs> we're in a bit of a pickle. Get your butt out of there. <laughs> I was just freaked out there. <laughs> surprise! Uh, uh, okay, surprise cleaning lady. What's the damage? You've racked up quite the debt scar. For one, I, I had to upgrade one the of case. the chest monsters because you had shulkers inside chests and it upgraded from a small to a medium. Uh, and this <laughs> Wait, one- you, you upgraded? Was, yeah. that, was that signed off on? Uh, okay. It all is right, in the book, right, right. regardless of whether you said it or not. Your shiny head says Okay, so. all right, all right. Mm -hmm. Terms and conditions. Yep. Uh, and uh, this one, this one here, remember we agreed to 10 diamonds per half an hour for the organization? Yes. And it took me four and a half hours or so to organize this particular oh, shulker monster. No. So that is 80 diamonds in depth. And in total, you are 170 diamonds in depth. Do you have that? 170 diamonds. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. You can pay that, right, Scott? Oh. You can pay it, right? Well. Um, mm -hmm. yes, yes, definitely. By the next episode, I'll have that paid. By the way, Pearl, by the way, mm -hmm. if you're in need of food, my shops are fully stocked. If you need to get, you know, maybe 200 stacks of cookies uh -huh. at uh, two diamonds per stack would be great. Think about think Bye. about the, the, the nutrition. I thought yeah. you were gonna, gonna give a, a generous tip, you know? I spent all this time organizing it. Jeez, all right. All right. I'm trying to make diamonds to pay you. <laughs> you can't make diamonds off me to then pay me back, Scar. You might as well just give me the cookies at that point. <laughs> I'm going to need to do some things. I'm going to need to do some quests. I'm going to need to do some mining. By it the next works. episode, Pearl, mm -hmm. I will bring you an airdrop of diamonds. Sounds fantastic to me. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you, Scar. I will leave you to organize your last chest monster. I'm so and um, you, you are now, that's for sure. I'm so How am I going <laughs> to feed jelly these days and build a theme park? And don't make me feel okay, bad girl. for you, Scar. I spent yeah, six hours. I like, only have like one can of cat food left. And I'm just going to go to the market today. It's fine. With Scar's chest monster all done, sorted and organized. Um, never thought I would be saying that anytime soon. But yes, with it all organized and beautiful and clean. Uh, yeah, when do we think that chest monster is going to come back? Hmm. How long is the cleanness going to last? I may have more business in the future. Anyway, I think it's time to uh, get to matters of our own. It appears as though the giant <coughs> king that Ren, that, that hurts to say, statue that we saw in the previous episode now has a question mark above its head. And that is actually something where Ren has opened up a brand new questing system on the server where we can complete activities or chores or just anything of that sort to earn some diamonds. Now, quite frankly, I don't really need diamonds and Scar is definitely going to add to the fact that I don't need diamonds for sure. But I love the idea of completing some fun activities just to do around the server and just do something different other than building my mega base constantly. Therefore, today we are going to pick a quest and complete it and earn some fun diamonds in the process. First up though, let's take a little bit of a gander at the rules that Ren has stated for us here. Server quests, welcome to Hermitcraft server quests. Complete quests for the king and earn diamond rewards for your loyalty and hard work. Please read rules. How does it work? Take a quest crystal of your choice. Uh, t take a quest crystal, quest crystal, quest crystal, quest crystal, say it 10 times fast. <laughs> quest crystal of choice, replace the pumpkin with your own head. Complete the quest, return here to collect your award and your head, and then keep the crystals. Rules. One daily quest per day per hermit, one weekly quest per week, and one unique quest at a time. Quests can be group completed. Quests must be completed on camera. Quests must be completed within their allotted time, and please replace the tribute item books. So there we go, those are the rules. Now let's take a bit of a gander at a catalog and hopefully kind of pick out a quest that we feel like we might want to do today. All right, I'm taking a bit of a look in the unique quest catalog here, and this one actually quite stands out to me right now. A build to the shopping district nether portal. That's actually been something that's been on my mind for a while that I've really wanted to do because well, we just don't have one and I like building portals, so why not? And there's also another page here actually that is build a map with markers for the shopping district. I think these two quests would go together really well, but as the rules state, we can only do one at a time. So what we're going to do is we are going to start off by doing this quest here 
builds of the shopping district nether portal. And uh, honestly, I can't wait to make it. But as the rules state, we actually have to go accept it, which is down here in these lovely water pillars. And I believe this one is actually down uh, in the third basement floor, whichever we want to call that. Some, somewhere down here. There is so many quests for us to complete. My gosh. Oh, and there we go. There's the giant water dunny. That's where you throw your diamonds in. <laughs> Great. Now, which chest would this one be in? Let's have a look. Oh, there we go. The first one I look in. Build the shopping district to nether portal and we get 20 deep slate diamond ore for that. Okay, sounds pretty good to me, to be honest. So we need to place our player head there and then we take the uh, the shards here. Okay, how do we how do we get our head? You know, I've also just realized I'm still in my cleaning lady suit. I changed into that to clean Scar Shulker Monster and I forgot to put my suit back on. Uh, hold on, I've got, to, I've got to fix that issue. One moment. <laughs> there we go, much better. Oh, and looks like... um. Looks like we have the king behind us. <laughs> it took me that long to change my clothes that suddenly there's a visitor down here alongside with us. Well, either way, um, now we've got to get our head, I guess. Bring him back to the original task at hand. Can we get the king to kill us, please? <laughs> Hello, Pearl. Hi. Uh, your quest kind of <laughs> demands up? death to undertake. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want to... Yeah, you, you, you either need an egg or a head. An okay. egg or a head. Oh, I, I do have eggs, actually. I do, I do. Yeah, but head's much more fun. Yeah, okay, okay, no hesitation. All right. He's, that's, uh, you are a very violent king, Red. You are very there violent. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> I can't control myself when I'm in my dungeon. Oh, I see. Okay. All, all, it's violent all down death. here, you know? Yeah, it is, it is very violent down here. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I got my head now. Beautiful. Nice. Did, did anything get flushed down the dunny by chance or real good? Uh, I think we're okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I can go check if you feel like you're missing anything. I mean, are you going to need more than one head, do you uh, think? Uh, oh, actually, I might do. I forgot about that. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, I'm accepting my fate. <laughs> do it! Do it! Dang it! I'm, it. Oh, Red. I'm so bad! <laughs> oh, you got there eventually. Your armor's too good. Uh, armor? armor? I wasn't OP. wearing any armor. Oh, jeez, oh, that, that then I'm my, just terrible. That was my shot. Oh, this box. is yours. Yeah, oh, whoops. Don't, don't look in that. Don't, you don't want to look in there, Ren. Well, thank you All very right, much you for any, the two heads. Do you need any more? Uh, ho hopefully not. Not right now. No, it's, I'm, all, I'm all good. Thanks. Well, there we go. We had the king himself help us pop the heads off our shoulders so we can stick him in our chests. Ah, good stuff. Anyway, <laughs> now we can fully accept that quest. So all we gotta do is open the barrel, take out the pumpkin correlating to the, the quest that we want to do, we stick our head in, and then we take the shards. And I guess that kind of marks down which quest that we complete over the time. I wonder if, like, there's, like, a competition of how many quests that you can do. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of collecting these. Anyway, we've, we have officially taken up this quest, and we are going to keep the second head for when we do the map for the shopping district later on down the line. For now, we have a portal to go build. Where do we feel the shopping district portal could settle? I don't think there's not really like an official center of the shopping district space. I mean, it stretches quite far. It kind of starts off in the corner here with gigalogs and then it stretches over in this direction. And there's a whole bunch of new things being built around here as well. Maybe if it is heading off towards this kind of corner, we can aim to put the portal somewhere centrally in this particular location. I mean, this zone right here looks quite nice. It's fairly neat. You seem to have a pretty big main road also uh, fairly connected to the area, so maybe somewhere in this zone might might uh, kind of work out here. This plot here could potentially work for the portal, however, it would be fairly close to Scars and Beatles' buildings, and I think a building in the same type of style in that spot could work fairly well, and I don't think that's the kind of design that I'm looking for for the portal. So how about right across from the road, in uh, this spot right here, you know, we've got the what looks to be a somewhat central road kind of leading right up to it. We could have the center of this line up with the center of the portal. Yeah, I, I reckon it's somewhat central to the zone itself and um, has good access to the roads as well. As far as the shopping district always goes, though, um, it doesn't really have its own particular style. So trying to design another portal for the shopping district could be fairly interesting. I have no idea what thing to do. 
So I'm just gonna have to just make something up and hope the hermits like it. <laughs> and hope I like it too, to be honest. So with that said, I'm just gonna stick my head down, put my thumbs up and get building and see if I can think of something to make. So let's activate the second timelapse for today and I'll see you guys afterwards. Let's get cracking. We can now officially say that the shopping district has another portal. And is it weird? Yes. Is it funky? Yes. Is it wacky? Yes. And it's basically what you call a pearlescent moon portal. I don't know what it is either, but I think I can roll with it, to be honest. Like, would you look at it? I think it doesn't look too bad. It's a bit of a mixture of uh, like kind of a ruins, or like overgrown ruins vibe that's been, been slowly infected by some sort of corruption or alien business which is indeed the skulk and then we have some weird flying bugs above it which almost look like mosquitoes in a way i don't really know what they are they're just weird flying little things <laughs> There's not a lot of rhyme or reason to this portal other than the fact that I had no idea what theme to do so I just made up something completely on the spot. And hey, I thought it could, could be a lot of fun to incorporate some of those beautiful 1.19 blocks such as the mangrove, which by the way, thank you Cub for letting me buy a sapling of the mangrove thingy magi because I had none of it. So saved me there. We've also got uh, some of the old woods mixed in. We have the mud stuff coming in at the stairway here and all, all, along the pathway on the ground. We've got the skulk climbing up the walls. And of course we have some mud mixed into the actual structure itself. And I think it makes for a pretty cool texture. It almost looks like a bit like a monolith in some way, but I don't really know what it is. I just think it looks pretty interesting. I just sketched it out and then hoped for the best. And of course, knowing me, I had to do some fancy stained glass for the inside of that portal there just to create a little bit of shading in a way or to make it look a little bit fancier than just a flat portal. Coming around the back here, you have very much of the same type of thing, except I have extended some of the ruins a little bit further back just to make it look like it has a bit more of a back and isn't just some sort of flat portal from a side glance. Now truth be told, I'm not really giving you guys many aerial shots here because, well, my Australian internet connection in this particular episode of this particular day is just not having it. So I feel like if I fly, we're gonna get disconnected. <laughs> So we're just gonna we're just gonna walk around and have a look at it from the ground and to be honest it's still not a bad view either way i'm sure at the end of the episode i'll give you all a flyover but for now this is where we have come to with the portal what do you all think to the portal let me know down in the comments below because i'm very intrigued about your feedback on this particular one because like i said there was no theme to the shopping district so i just made something completely random and i hope it works yeah now the final thing that we can do before we officially call this thing finished is actually to go and accept our quest because we got to get our reward we got to get our diamonds that we just absolutely don't need plus i gotta put one of these shards back because i took two by accident <laughs> oops here's our lovely barrel right here let's give it a little bit of an open and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one shard back for ren of course because we only need one of these we're gonna take our head back out as the instructions said and also take our lovely reward a beautiful amount of diamonds right there and of course before i did the portal as well i ended up putting that uh pumpkin that came with the quest box in this barrel over here as well so Ren can reuse that for another quest down the line. Perfect! And well with all of that said that is actually going to be the end of the episode today. We have done quite a lot because Scar's Shulker Monster was quite a big one to tackle and we defeated it and then of course we built the lovely shopping district nether portal which I think does look pretty good. Hey we've even got that touch of a uh, diamond up in the, in the top part of the portal there but yes it looks fabulous and that is going to be the conclusion for this one. So thank you so very very much for watching the episode today i hope you all enjoyed it if you liked it please let me know down in the comments below if you have any feedback for, for the episode please let me know down in the comments below i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will catch you in the next one goodbye everybody goodbye goodbye <laughs>